Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Slinko, new blackout, extended, extended. So we know they make a 27 in the 300 gram, a 27 and a half in the 300 gram. We got 28 now in the 300 gram. Hmm, stay tuned. All right, so Selenko, Blackout, 300, extended 28 inches long. I'm a little surprised they did this, um, but maybe they know something I don't since, you know, they make great strings, they make great rackets, maybe they're ahead of the curve when it comes to reinventing the longer racket i mean typically longer rackets are meant for you know pro level players that they you know customize and make longer because that's what they're wanting um, for the regular person most people just use a 27 uh, very rarely does anybody even use a 27 and a half anymore. So for them to make a 28 is a little interesting. Um, I, I strung it with my string, Confidential 16L, 55 pounds. And I mean, let's go try it out. Um, kind of feels good in the hand. As you can tell, it's at the uh, at the handle, which they added that extra, you know, inch or half inch. If you're comparing the 27 or the 27 and a half, so two-handed backhand users, you're fine. All right, let's test it out. So just got off the court, blackout, 300X28. Coach Chris, what'd you think of the 28? Uh, this feels like a really good racket. The 28 didn't feel like a 28. I think you can just play this, pick this up in stock form. Um, solid overall racket. I think, again, the weight distribution on this, I didn't feel like too much I would assume because with the extra inch show, it would add a little bit more flex, but it was quite stable in, in the way that you're following through. Again, with the blackouts, with especially with these rackets, you definitely get a lot more pop through these balls. So, But in terms of follow through and plow through, this thing kind of carried on and it responded quite well to what I wanted it to do. So I, I do like this racket. It, it doesn't really feel like a 28, so. Cool. Um, yeah, like Coach Chris said, this is one of my favorite blackout rackets, um, especially with the extended, the extra inch does give it that control. Um, it does give it the plow through it needs. Usually with the, like the blackouts, in my opinion, they are a little head light. So I was swinging fast with those. And then of course it didn't really tailor to my game because I love the plow. Just like Harry, he, we just love weight in our head. So surprisingly with this, um, extended version that extra inch they, they give you especially at the at the grip I thought it would throw off the weight distribution, but it actually enhanced it um, It actually gave it the plot through it need I got the control that I needed from a blackout which never really happens, but um, With that extra inch it does give it the control enhances the feel and it gives it that nice um, power like effortless power that it's known for but with definitely with more control so this is definitely a winner 
um, if you're looking um, to go up to that pro stock level, um, this is pretty much the racket you should look for for a blackout. So let me tell you, let me ask you this. If, if I didn't tell you that it was long, would you have known that it was long? Uh, if you look at the grip, then yeah. No, I know, but like playing wise. <laughs> <laughs> playing wise, no. It, yeah. it really felt like a regular 27. Um, just because how good it felt. Right. I mean, I thought you, if you gave me that racket, I thought it would be like a pro stock racket. That's what I felt. Like. That's what I felt too. Yeah. Like, it doesn't feel like a 28. Like, as Coach Chris said, it doesn't feel like a 28. We mean it doesn't feel like a 28. So, yeah. I think Solenko nailed this blackout extended 28 on the head, like, perfectly on the dot. Yeah, that, I felt the same way. When I saw 28, I was very, very worried. Uh, when I started swinging it, I was like, wow, it doesn't feel like a long racket. It feels like what Coach Goose said, like a pro stock that's weighted out here. There was great, yeah, there was great head weight. Good um, pocketing. Great pocketing. It was actually a nice little bend to it that is very unique to longer rackets that felt very comfortable. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it still like a 100 square inches? It's yeah. Still, yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. So, changed. Yeah, so I think that's the, the shocking thing about it because with most of these kind of style rackets, they're known for power and like no, like really stability when you swing through the air. Um, but this one, like it didn't sacrifice that swing ability mm -mm. it actually just made it super stable when it you enhanced it, it. yeah yes. it really enhanced it so as I you would, can tell chris is loving that racket yeah i think we i i would definitely consider maybe even playing with this in stock form because i don't I know think this is the one it. yeah this one is the one that if you try to weight it up to your own specs i don't think it needs it anymore mm -mm. unless you just weight up the whole racket then that's fine but like you don't need to weight it anymore it's a pretty nice racket overall yeah. So, yes. <laughs> so winner from Goo. Winner from me. Winner from Chris. All right. And this might be my new racket. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try it some more and see how it goes. But yeah, let me so know how. Far, you, let me know how you feel when so you trade. So far, it's good. Um, all right. Thank you, Coach Goo. Of course. Where can we find you, Goo? You can find me at AG Tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. Coach Chris, where you at? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And that's it. All right. Guys, check it out. <laughs> really. 28 inch extended blackout from Selinko. Definitely a winner from all of our standpoints. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Great match as ever. Oh man, thank you so much. Next week, same time, same bat channel. All right, my buddy Hanlon and I have been playing for over 20 years with each other. I'm so glad that I have found my tennis buddy. And we just happened to kind of started playing, right? So the number one problem with tennis is if you don't have a buddy like Hanlon, you don't play tennis. Because I wouldn't have been able to play for 20 years without him. And that's when player court comes in. There's over 27,000 people registered that you can play with. Just check out playercourt.com forward slash tennis spin. There's a tennis buddy waiting for you.